What's up guys, Parker here. I'm excited to bring you a quick video on how to create dynamic chart colors. Uh, this is something that I've been looking for in Power BI for the past couple years and it's finally possible due to the June 2019 release. So as you can see, uh, when my value is less than my target value, um, it shows as red, but if I climb above my target value, it changes to yellow. And finally, if I hit my maximum goal value and I exceed that maximum, it turns to green. So this is really cool functionality uh, you can kind of replicate it with the tachometer, but it's not necessarily as good as this built-in functionality. So I'm going to show you how you can set this up. It's pretty easy and follows the uh, similar patterns to the other expression-based formatting videos that I've already posted. Um, this uh, expression-based formatting is going to spread all over Power BI, so this is just one of the next steps. So I'm going to hop over to a new file and show you how you can set up that dynamic coloring. So, so far, I have set up a what-if parameter. So this comes from a what if parameter. Basically, it's just on a scale from zero to 150. And I'm going to set up a couple of quick measures just to create a dummy target and a dummy goal. So I'm gonna call this, I'll call this uh, budget. And I'll set this equal to 80. And I'm gonna throw this budget into the target value. And next, I'm gonna create another measure. I'm gonna call it, uh, this is actually gonna be my goal. I'll set that equal to 130, as in my other file. So this is basically going to be set to the maximum value. So we have our target of 80 and our goal of 130, but still no coloring set up. The only other step we need to do is to create one more measure that returns a specific uh, hex color code depending on our logic. So we can start this by calling it uh, color. And we'll set it equal to the switch statement and set that equal to true. So we will evaluate all of these following expressions for true. So we can say um, if our actual actual value, which was made from the what if parameter I've already set up, um, if that is greater than or equal to our maximum value, which we've set as goal, we want that to return green. And I have a nice little hex color picker here. So if we go to green, that looks like a nice green. So we'll copy the hex code and we will throw this into, um, into double quotes and close that off. And then if our actual value is greater than or equal to our budget value, we want that to return yellow. There we go. We'll take that yellow code, put it in quotes, and then finally, if it's not above the goal and it's not above the budget, we want to just show red. So we can choose a red, let's get a really bright red. And we'll copy that and throw that in here. And that's all we have to do for our coloring. And just to you know make note, uh, you want to start with your biggest value first um, because it is going to evaluate the first one that it hits. Uh, so basically, if we're exceeding our goal, we want it to show green. Um, but if it exceeds budget, we want it to show yellow. So you have to put it in the order of largest uh, to smallest here. And then the last thing we need to do is go to our formatting of our gauge and go to data colors. And then find the little conditional formatting here. Conditional formatting. And we are going to set by a uh, field value based on our color measure. And there we go. It's red when it's below our target value. And as we get above the target value, it becomes yellow. And then finally, when it's over the max, it is equal to a uh, green color. So nice built-in functionality. Uh, big props to the Power BI team for implementing this in the gauge visual. This is going to allow you to show your progress towards a goal much easier uh, with this new kind of coloring scheme. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video.